everybody, my name is Alana and today I'm so excited to be sharing with you my thoughts on the brand new Bite Beauty Daycation blushes. Available in four shades, I have Coconut Rum and Melon Mojito. And this is a bit of a dupe for something. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to put the blush on my face. I already did my base, my eyeshadow, all of that. So you don't have to have to worry about watching me do that. But just so you guys know, I am wearing the Bite Beauty eyeliner and mascara as well in this video. I thought we'd kind of have a little bit of a bite moment, okay? So we are going to put this makeup on my face and then we're going to talk about it. I'll see. Okay, so I have two shades to work with. I have Melon Mojito and Coconut Rum. So let's do Coconut Rum just as a little bit of bronzer, as a little bit of warmth. So just so you guys know, I have my foundation on. I have a little bit of powder under my eyes. And I did use my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand to just bring a little bit of definition, but I haven't done like bronzer for warmth. So let's start with this on the back of my hand. And as you can see here, I'll just rub it out a little bit. So as you can see, it's sort of a, sort of a shimmery, almost terracotta. It's kind of at the point where it could be a blush. It could be a bronzer. I'm going to go in with my Real Technique sponge. And let's just, let's just try tapping it in. So I want to try using this one as a bronzer and a sponge. Because um, I want it to be just really, really light and diffused and just sort of warm. And then we'll kind of bring it on here. Okay, so there we have it as a bronzer. Let's just clean off my hand a little bit. So again, that was coconut rum. So now we're gonna go in with melon mojito. I'm gonna rub that out again a bit for you guys. And there we have a shade which many people are saying is a dupe for the sold out, the absolutely sold out pink gasm from Charlotte Tilbury. I would show you if it was a dupe or not, but I've been trying to get a hold of that product for months, well, like two months, and TikTok sold it out, so I don't have it. But many YouTubers who I know, love, and trust have made this comparison, and the color, it looks right for me. It has that sort of metallicness to it. I'm gonna try using this Luxie 512 Small Contour Brush. This is a synthetic brush, which is the kind of brush I like to use on cream products. And it's just really soft and just kind of light. So I'm just gonna kind of stipple it on my cheek. And we can always add more. Okay, so that is one coat. Let's add a little more to my hand because I rubbed it all away. So I'm doing a combination of just sort of pressing it into the skin and then doing some little tiny circles to almost blend it. So that one definitely went on heavier, but also I had more product on my hand. So I'm just gonna do one coat to even out this side. And then I like to just take the clean side of my beauty sponge and just sort of diffuse in the edges. And then again, I'm just gonna kind of rest some of that out. I think I went in a little, little sunburny there. Okay, so this is the completed look. Let's get a little closer. So first up for swatches, we have coconut rum, which is described as a luminous warm bronze. For me, this could be a blush or a bronzer. Then we have melon mojito, which is described as a glowing peach, and as referenced, is a great dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. Okay, so we have the makeup on my face. So let's go through kind of some of the particulars about these blushes, some of the criticisms they're getting, where I stand, would I buy it, do I recommend it, all of these, and of course, my award-winning personality. Yeah, mm-hmm, let's go with that one. Okay, let's go with that one, okay. So off the bat, these babies retail for $42 Canadian, which is, not an insignificant amount of money. I'd say the most comparable product, and of course, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've already seen this comparison, is the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm. 
is very, very similar to Melon Mojito. Now, I actually don't own Pinkgasm, but a number of YouTuber, TikTok friends, etc., that I trust and rely on have made this comparison, and I would make the comparison too. However, the Charlotte Tilbury one is totally sold out. Like, sold out everywhere. Sold out Sephora, Nordstrom, their website, boutiques. I've been trying to get a hold of it for like a month. So I wish I could show you those comparative swatches, but I can't. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it, I guess. And I'm taking other people's word for it, okay? Okay, we're good. So like I said, retails for $42 Canadian. Now there are four shades. You've got Watermelon Marg, which is a light pink pearl. You have Coconut Rum, which is a luminous warm bronze. Melon Mojito, which is a glowing peach. That's the one on my cheeks right now. And Hibiscus Slush, which is a radiant berry. You get one third of an ounce, otherwise known as 9.76 milliliters. So comparing it very quickly to Charlotte Tilbury, which is $50, you get uh, 0.41 ounces or 12 milliliters. So you do get a bit more product, actually, like comparatively, a lot more product with Charlotte. Um, but I wanted to address the number one criticism that I have, and I see a lot of people have on this, and that is the packaging. So let's start off on the good. It feels good to hold in my hand. It's neat. It's kind of unique. I've never seen this before. You twist it off. So here's the first problem. This entire thing is the lid. This is the base, and this holds the product. Now, the thing, the base that holds the product, is a rather firm plastic. So I don't want to squeeze it all out because then I will lose what little product comes in this. But it is like a firm plastic. So right now I'm not having any problem getting the product out. Um, and we'll talk about how I prefer to apply it after, but I'm not having any problem getting it out onto the back of my hand. But two problems with that. One, you actually lose a lot of product on the back of your hand when you apply it here. I suppose if you're a makeup artist, you could use like a palette or something, but either way, you know, when you squeeze it out, you're losing a lot of product. Like I used a lot of product that's not on my face to do the swatches and of course to put this look on. Um, and I do worry that when we get to the end of it, like how are you going to get the little bits at the bottom? I mean, what I usually do is basically take an X-Acto knife and hack these things. Well, not this specific one. I've Obviously, I've owned this product for like three days, but um, what I normally would do is hack a product open and just take out every little ounce of product that I possibly can. So I am worried about that um, aspect of it, but let's get into some of the good. So Bite Beauty, it's a Canadian brand most notable for their lip products. And recently-ish, over the last, let's say, year and a bit, they've been transitioning all of their products, their entire line, to being vegan. Cruelty-free, they're clean at Sephora, all of those things they are leaning into. And so I think that if you are somebody who really values cruelty-free, values vegan cosmetics, then I think this is a great option on the market. Definitely performs as well as or similar to other products in the market that, you know, don't make those claims. So like, you know, for example, the Charlotte Tilbury. Well, I don't have Pinkgasm, I do have Peachgasm and several others. And, you know, I think they both look good on my skin. I think that, you know, there's been some complaints about pigmentation. I'm not sure what shades other people are wearing, but I will say that uh, Melon Mojito as a blush, I think is beautiful. This is exactly the kind of color that I like to reach for. I will say that Coconut Rum as a bronzer, not really my thing. I'm, I'm also just not a huge cream bronzer person personally, but I am leaning more into cream blushes lately as that trend has kind of exploded. But um, I'm not sure what I'm doing with my arms there, but I'm, I'm trying to make this visually interesting, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like it applied comfortably on my skin. The wear time is fine. I do find generally that cream blushes don't wear as long as powder on me, but wear, yeah, wear time is fine. Color looks good. I feel like I look pretty and cheerful and summery, and I think that these colors will look even better on me once I get some sun if I ever go outside this summer, which who, who knows, you know? Who knows if that's gonna happen? Um, the other thing I don't love about it, and again, this is just personal preference, um, these products are very sort of shimmery, sparkly. Originally I thought metallic, but there is a bit of glitter in there. And I, to be fair, I also don't like that about the Charlotte products. I prefer a little bit of a luminosity or even a matte product, like matte but not flat. Um, so if you really like a glow, like this is going to give you glow in cheeks. Um, I did add a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury highlighter, just her powder highlighter to this look. 
But if you're into that luminous, dewy look, then I think you're going to enjoy these. If you are somebody who, you know, prefers or only uses cruelty-free or vegan products, you know, Bite is a great option for you. I will say at $42, the price is kind of steep, especially when you consider how difficult the packaging will be to get, you know, your full value for your money. But let's talk about some of the good in this product. So I want to just say off the bat, the texture of this product is unlike anything else I've ever used. It's whipped, but like it's whipped. And so it's like moussey and very, like a very pleasant texture to use with your fingers. Now I have blended it out on my cheeks with my fingers before. I just happen to prefer using a blush, but it's a very enjoyable experience to apply. Um, I would also say that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that it dries to a powder because that's not true, I don't think, but it definitely dries with no tackiness, no stickiness. Like it dries to just a really nice, I'm going to call it like a normal makeup texture, if that makes sense. It just dries down nicely. It, I don't really experience it like as I'm touching it, like I don't really experience it like running all over my face like I think it sets fairly well I think the color in particular melon mojito is stunning um so yeah like I think it's a very nice product don't love the price considering that you're not gonna be able to get the full value out of the product so, would I buy it I mean look if you are cruelty free vegan and you know obviously there's a limited number of products that are going to perform well and you know that you're happy to kind of invest your money and pay for that then I think you're going to enjoy this. Um, if you're like myself and you prefer powder blush, I mean, obviously a cream blush might not be for you. And if you're just somebody who enjoys cream blush, you enjoy luminosity, I think you will get a lot of enjoyment out of this. If I was to tell you to only buy one color, it would be Melon Mojito. Um, also, this is great for somebody who's been trying desperately to get their hands on the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkasm but hasn't been able to. So, you know, this is, this is an option. This is, this is an option available to you. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say I like it. It's nice. Um, is it a ringing endorsement? Not really. Do I love the packaging? I think it's very cute and aesthetic to look at. It's gonna look super cute in a flat lay. Um, but it's just not practical. And while that's not a problem for me today, I feel like if I do fall in love with this product and use it up in a couple of months, long after this review is posted, long after you've watched my opinions, long after all this is over, I'm gonna be like, man, there's so much in here, but I can't get it. So yeah. Anyways, those are m as I drop it, but thankfully it is a cream blush. Other benefit. If you are a YouTuber who has a very small desk that you film, uh, keep your products and your laptop on and your research before you film and it falls, it won't break because it's plastic and a cream product. How's that? Really quickly, uh, I'm wearing the Tom Ford foundation in the shade Porcelain. It was a free sample I got and trying it out. Charlotte Tilbury brows, but I actually used my Merit um, brow, um, thing. My Merit brow, like liquidy comb, oh, whatever, I'll leave a link down below. They only have one brow product. Um, I use that to sort of as my like gimme brow type product and I'm actually wearing Natasha Denona's mini uh, glam palette which actually my first time wearing it today and oh my gosh do I love it got some Charlotte Tilbury um, contour wand and I've got a little bit of Chanel powder under my eyes and then like I already mentioned I'm using the bite eyeliner and mascara so that's what's on my face those are my thoughts on the bite beauty product the other thing I don't love about it just by the way is I always have to remember when I'm putting the lid back on that you have to put it, <laughs> I'm having a dropping day, okay? You have to put it on the right way because if you don't, I'm just gonna do it wrong on purpose, then you end up with the label on one side like, and it's all mixed up. So you have to, you know, make sure that you're putting it back together properly. So anyways, those are my thoughts on this product. Um, definitely excited to see that Bite is coming out with more and more products. I'd love to see them come out with a powder blush powder bronzer but I know I know cream products are having a moment I'm just a powder kind of girl I would also love to see them come out with an eyeshadow palette I do also want to say that you can use these as an eyeshadow if you'd like 
I've tried it. I don't really love it on me. So I just wanted to show you how I would typically use this product and that is as a blush and a bronzer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it mildly entertaining. If you enjoyed what you saw or not, even if you didn't, that's okay. I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. Leave some comments down below because I love interacting with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.